Uh, well handled that time. In, in these uh, moments uh, and shots that look simple or anything but, and looks like Wolf was looking to go more up the middle. That's kind of the beauty of tennis. Yeah, I think that's exactly right, Chanda, because neither of these guys necessarily expected to be here. Expect to win, which is something that maybe wasn't the case necessarily for at least a lot of us in the media. Well, they know they each have a great shot to be in the fourth. 14-15. First days for J.J. Wolf. Well, it's a much easier hold this time for J.J. Wolf. Comes up with a beautiful serve there to get another hold to love. And it actually started that next January in 2019, the first serious injury shoulder. He's dealt with back issues as well. And that's well done. That's a beautiful swing from Mo. In terms of looking how to set those points up, great ball out wide and then able to punish that one with a very safe target up the line. Yeah, it's a terrific point and having it in his head that he was looking for. Oh. Oh, wild swinging here. Michael Moe grabs an early break. Here in Melbourne this year. That's good work with the feet in particular, but here that is part of what will help elevate his game. Getting himself set and on balance and able to dictate play. That's well struck once again. The forehand winners. First ace of the day for Michael Moe. Fight off the first. Jeez. Back to back with it. Not bad. Well handled from Moe to Deuce now. Uh, what plenty of margin as well from J.J. Wolf. Old aggression, not easy to generate all of the pace. On the forehand side, that is exactly what he did in the changeup. Mo had no response to that feel. That is a very rare serve and volley from Michael Mo, and you see why. Too good. It's not easy to play when you're so dependent on your opponent. Your opponent missing. Try to control tempo with the style of play that he has. That's too good. What's up with an ace third in the last couple of games? He also, with all of the injuries, Chanda.
J.J. Wolf comes roaring back into this one. Four games on the trot to close out set number one, 6-4. State Buckeyes with some pretty heated rivalries back in the states with Michigan and Portillo. Illinois, which are always. Bit of a throwaway yeah. game for Michael Mo Wolf grabs a hold to love. Well, that is now six games in a row for J.J. Wolf. A foot wrong in quite a while that time, pushing Mo even further back behind the Melbourne sign on the court. And again, such a safe target with that inside out forehand doing all of the work. 15 low. That's that incredible angle he generates off that forehand wing once again for Wolf to 15 all. That's the, the pace that Wolf is able to get on some of these shots. Nice take back and he swings freely out into the court and that's how you generate that kind of speed. He's in trouble again here on serve. Yeah, it's now eight straight games for J.J. Wolf. Wolf defending from the ground when he needed to there until he could go from defense to offense. He did a podcast with J.J. Wolf last summer when he was starting to make some of his changes to start playing with bigger targets. You but you don't want to stop swinging if you are a hitter of the ball. And that can be the challenge in terms of gaining the confidence, working through. And then follows it up with an ace. This has been some performance. All Wolf right now, five love in the second. Five games to love. Comfortable there for Mo. Nice, easy touch into the open court on road back, though. It, it is, but the most important thing is to try to stop the bleeding, stop the run. Nine games to Wolf and counting. Pretty big if Mo can get on the board. Scoreboard. He'll hear it from the crowd. Yeah, pretty telling there, Mo, not moving off to that right until very late in the point. Already starting to think about that third set. I think it's tough for Mo to kind of read these shots from Wolf, and he's almost waiting until Wolf hits it before he makes a move versus. He only needs the one very simple on the pass. That whole set, very simple indeed. J.J. Wolf is one set away from the fourth round, 2023 Australian Open. it early but he does now have this this tournament over Lorraine Locali of France feels a little bit different here today though well that's pushing pretty well take a rip being right there and out of nowhere Mo never saw it coming
come up with that second one. So there's the energy that you needed to see from Michael Moe. I think just a little bit of the clarity. That's better. Swing from Michael Moe saying that the wind, the swirl of the Jeez. wind got him a little bit there. Too good. Yeah, well struck there. The wolf on that drop shot. Shot is so effective against a guy as quick as Moe is because he is so far back behind the baseline. This was the perfect time for Wolf to go to the drop shot. Such, such a unique situation with Mo's that first ball. Worst case scenario, I'm going to have a second shot. Look at a pass. Yeah, I think part of it for Mo is he's got to keep the focus forward. I mean, even that volley was like looking to catch it to the side of him instead of out in front. He's got it. What a shot. J.J. Wolf. Cruise control right now. It's kind of that mix between trying to do too much, maybe with just unloading the arsenal at this point. Huge. 213 up the tee. Short ball easily disposed. Two break chances by the wayside to Deuce. Just a Jeez. little better with his footwork. Took a little more care with the swing. Maybe the result he was looking for on that previous inside out forehand. Not easy to stay in the moment, to keep playing point by point. Not get ahead of yourself. Just about do it. That's brutal. And the problem with this one is it really didn't get up high enough for how tall Michael Moe is. That ball would have been a lot simpler had he taken it in the air and not waited on it. And he pays the price. It is such a Great feeling for any player when they are able to play free, comfortable. Breathe a little easier. Getting a break. Holding. Oh, goodness me. Plenty of margin as well. This is just terrific court aware awareness way back on that return, but closes off the court and sees enough of the court to go to that drop shot. Hasn't gone to it often, but has been very successful. Oh. 
Well, J.J. Wolf grabs the insurance break. Just hammered. So you start thinking about two days from now, the fact you've never been in the round of 16, hard to do. And he's still working with the legs to get down and behind these shots. That's the first step. Keep everything on auto. Slider serve is his weapon of choice. And comes with the slider up the tee as well at 206. That is a hard slider to 5-1. Just been longing to be on that same stage with them for many years. That's nicely played by Wolf, just keeping the pressure on here. And it's going to be important for Mo to try to build and, and grow from this experience, continue to push himself out of his comfort zone. Four months into a relationship with his new coach, Zach Evenden. And we're getting a little bit of entertainment at the finish as well. The net, sometimes those miss hits can go your way. The wind playing a little havoc with that ball. But Wolf gets it done right here. It's been his best serve for many years. And match points. Well, that Wolf Pack is indeed howling with delight as J.J. Wolf is into the round of 16 for the first time in his career in a dominant performance. 6-4, 6-1, 6-2 over Michael Moe. Moving on here in Melbourne. J.J. Wolf into the fourth round <laughs> here at the Australian Open on his debut.